a demonstration video of Universal Instruments GSM. This is an upgraded GSM. It's running Windows with UPS Plus. We have the bottom covers off the machine just so you can see the controls. The covers will ship with the machine. The machine is in production mode. That's our SMEMA box. The red light means it's requesting a PCB. This is a FlexJet 7 placement head. The head's been completely gone through. It's put back to factory specifications, calibrated and tested. This machine comes with a platform tray feeder or PTIF and also a conveyor. This is for feeding tray components. You can see we have already have, uh... oh, it hasn't pulled the tray out. It will in a moment and I'll show it to you. This is where the tray components are presented to the machine on that belt, slot 43. This machine is also configured with a rear-mounted upward-looking camera, Magellan. All right, we have a board waiting to go in. We will tell the machine to go ahead and proceed with that board. It's a live, live uh, view of the parts being placed. There's the tray that's presented to the, uh, it's already picked up two components. You can see them missing there in that front row. The one is on the belt here waiting to go into the machine and one has already been presented. There's the part that's been presented waiting to be picked up. It will pick those parts at the very end. Right now it's gonna do a nozzle change. It'll pick that part, comes across the Magellan and places. Here's the view from the Magellan camera for those 80, 80 pin QFPs. Now we'll go get a look at the placements. I mentioned earlier that the uh, machine is fully calibrated. There, there we go. 0402 in the top row. And then we have 0603, 0805, and 1206. We didn't populate all the pads just to save time. You can see the machine is in calibration. Same thing with the QFPs. We didn't have the right pads, so we put them down just so you can see the pitch, so the legs are on the on the pads. X and Y. Part laying there, I, it was, I didn't scrape the board good enough after the first run, it was my fault. That is the demonstration of the GSM. Upgraded the windows with 
UPS Plus software and a platform tray feeder.